go-karts on the grid for this X30 senior final. Let's run through that running order. Lucas Ellingham, of course, lines up on pole position alongside as Alex Johnston behind them, Jack Cox and Christian Brooks. And it's Jordan Brown and Remy Gilbert. Row number four, she's Tiger Dixon and Jensen Buckingham. Then it's Vishal Patel and, Vishal Patel and Stephan, Stephanie Hobeka. Can't even get my words out. Rounding out the top ten. You made Vishal's surname sound like a knee, knee tendon, patella. <laughs> Sorry, Vishal. Then it's Paul Simard and Benjamin Southgate, who round out row number six. And it's Jacob Huang and Hugo Gilbert. Then Martin Alger and Jack Norton Heavey. And Sheldon Davey and Liam Crabb. Then Lewis Halliday rounds out those 19 carts on the grid for the start of this X30 senior final. Let's see what he can do from this start. Let's get it underway first time of asking X30 seniors. And we do indeed. Lucas Ellingham takes the lead before we even get through the first couple of corners. They all manage to follow each other through. Oh, we've got one off though. Is that the number 17? Was that or 15 of Benjamin Southgate? We'll have a look as they come through to finish sector one. All keeping it all right through the first couple of corners there. Oh, almost rips the nose cone off at the 54 there. That was Remy Gilbert. Nearly, well, Remy Gilbert nearly went old school with no front bumper on there. But Jack Cox got a great uh, purchase ahead of Alex Johnston. It was the 10 of Jacob Wang. Oh, dear. He got knocked off at the first corner there. Uh-oh. You know what's coming I'm in our ears very it, shortly. James. I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying it. <laughs> well, he's got back going, though. He is back going. So fair so, play, Jacob. There he is, heading up to Christmas Corner. Now it's going to be a bit more of a practice session for Huang. But here we go then, already pushing on into the lead is Lucas Ellingham. One and a half seconds he nearly has at the lead. Oh, that's late. Down the inside and makes contact. 82, a bit of a half spin there. So it was the 54 of Remy Gilbert who sent it and just collected Christian Brooks. It wasn't even Christian, he was making the move on, but just went a little bit too deep. Oh, Jordan Brown's getting a bit feisty as well. They, they definitely have said it. they've kept all their pent up aggression up until this point and just decided, right, we're going to let loose. Ma well, Martin Arroga gets a mechanical black flag, the meatball flag out, but a send up the inside. That's Vishal Patel and Remy Gilbert going into the approach into the boot. There's Jordan Brown not too far behind. And also the 82 of Christian Brooks. Indeed, that gap from third to fourth is already pretty big. Over two seconds between Alex Johnston in third and Bishar Patel in fourth. There's a move down the inside from the 80, though. Jordan Brown goes through on Remy Gilbert. Remy Gilbert just about managed to hold off the attack from Christian Brooks as well, though. Not for long, though. There he goes. Christian Brooks down the inside at Ashby and makes it stick. Remy Gilbert now under attack from Benjamin Southgate. Southgate tries up and under. He does go for it. That was Ooh. late. Makes it stick and through he goes. And oh, Gilbert off onto the grass. Almost becomes an aeroplane there and loses another position there to the 50 as well of Jensen Buckingham. So it's oh. not been an ideal lap for the 54 of Remy Gilbert. And Hugo Gilbert not having a great time either. You've got also the number 50 of Jensen Buckingham behind them. Paul Simard, Lewis Halliday, Stephanie Hobaker. Hopefully uh, looking to have a, a better run this time. There's now up the inside. As uh, the number 25 of Paul Simard loses a handful of places. And the last driver to get past was Lewis Halliday, who now sends up the inside of Tyler Dixon. Oh, that's very, oh. very wide out of the exit of Ashby's. That's the number 15, Benjamin Southgate, getting it all crossed up and off the circuit. He did hold the slide very nicely, though. They're very easy to uh, find yourself facing the wrong direction after going onto that grass. Because remember, it was raining heavily earlier. That grass has not dried at all through the day, so it's incredibly slippery. There's an up and under move there. Is that Vishal Patel going through? It was a nice move. No, it was, it was the, uh, the 59 there. That's Jack Norton Heavey going through. My apologies. Taking fourth place from Benjamin Southgate. Jacob Wang's laying everybody through at the moment. He knows that I'm not going to battle for position, but if he sees someone in his peripheral vision when he looks over his shoulder, he'll let them through, which is great. Uh, spatial awareness, but also good recognition of the circumstance that he's currently in after that moment coming out of Fine Lady. Exactly, yeah. Doesn't get annoyed from having an incident that was not his fault. Just gets on with it and respects the racing that's going on. So fantastic from Jacob Hank. Really appreciate that. Alex Johnson, in the meantime, is closing in on Jack Cox for second position. The gap is now four tenths. Johnson did lose nearly two tenths of a second on that last tour. As we're halfway through the race, four minutes down, four minutes to go plus a lap. 
Lucas Ellingham continues to pull away at the front. Fastest lap of the race last time around, a 45.54 for Lucas. You can see that gap just ever so slightly eking out every lap. But Alex Johnston versus Jack Cox for P2. Here is the 19 of Jack Cox. And then behind them, you've got Bishal Patel, Jordan Brown, Christian Brooks fighting over fourth place. In the meantime, Lucas Ellingham has just put in the fastest lap of the race. No surprise there, 45.54 seconds. Last time around had a 1.88 second lead. That gap is now nearly 2.3 seconds between him and Jack Cox in the number 19 with Alex Johnston still running out the top three. As Lucas Ellingham went even faster that time around, 45.45 for Lucas. So uh, just because he's nicely in the lead doesn't mean he lets off the gas at all. No. Continues to push harder and harder does Lucas Ellingham and moves himself further into the lead. Now this gap between Jack Cox and Alex Johnson staying relatively stagnant. So we look back, here is the 80 of Jordan Brown currently sandwiching Michelle Patel and Christian Brooks. Christian Brooks ever so slightly closing in, but it is always easier when you're chasing a car rather than when you're one being chased. Just find those couple of extra tenths over your competitor. Two and a half minutes to go in this X30 senior final. Alex Johnson has closed the gap to, well, just under four and a half, well, just over four and a half tenths of a second. So the best that Alex, Co uh, Alex Johnson will oh, be no, able to do. Oh no, we've got an issue. No, that's uh, Jacob Wang letting oh, people through right, again. Oh, you're right, you're right, ignore me. It's Sorry. been a long day, it's it been has, a long day, don't has. worry. But there, there is a nice little battle. Uh, you've got Hugo and Remy Gilbert, and in the middle of the Gilbert sandwich is Jensen Buckingham in the number 50, who's made a little bit of a recovery after that off-track excursion at Ashby. Indeed, yeah, making his way back through nicely. And indeed, in a bit of a Gilbert sandwich there in eighth place. Here we look back to Alex Johnson. He's close. He's really, really close to Jack Cox, but just not quite close enough to think about a move just yet. Hayden Phillips has said, we need to be open. We need to bot Lucas to make the races more interesting. <laughs> <laughs> what? What kind of what kind of penalty are you thinking, Hayden? An extra 30 kilos on the cart, maybe something like that? That probably, that pro probably might not make that much difference. I mean, this morning it would have helped. So. <laughs> well, it would have weighed the car down, cart down a little bit. Um, but contact warning this time for Jensen Buckingham in the number 50. And it's now got Lewis Halliday behind because Remy Gilbert's now up into eighth place in the number 54 behind the number 51 of Hugo Gilbert. So uh, some good exchanges that have been happening in this X30 senior final. But Lucas Ellingham is just over 65 seconds plus an additional lap away from the victory. Vishal Patel now holds the fastest lap of the race. He's closing in on Alex Johnston. We could see a three-way battle for second place coming up pretty shortly. Less than a minute to go in this one, so he's going to have to get on the back of it and go for it as soon as possible. Oh, Johnson was sideways through Incubus. He launched that over the curbs and kept the slide going. Well held there, John uh, Alex Johnston. Great control. Yeah, that was really good. He's, he's trying to push, isn't he? Just eat that edge a little bit out. So we can get himself on the rear end of the 19 and try and push for that move. I'm not sure if it's quite going to fit into place. Only 20 seconds to go. So two more laps of the circuit, it looks like. Yep, that will bring us to a total of 12 laps of racing around this 1,200 metre circuit. Steepest elevation change up from Manuel's Bank through, or from Fine Lady up to Christmas Corner. And Vishal Patel, he's taken nearly another three tenths out of Alex Johnston, but the timer hits zero. Fastest lap now goes to Christian Brooks in fifth position. There he is in the 82, being followed by Jordan Brown, who's now got ahead of Hugo Gilbert. Oh, bit of contact there between the 48 and the 19. Alex Johnston looked for it down the inside, didn't quite work. And that's actually allowed Jack Cox to move even further ahead. But that's given the opportunity to Vishal Patel. He's right behind him now. He's got one more lap to try and do something about it and get onto the podium here. Yeah, Alex Johnston and Vishal Patel. And Patel sideways through uh, Crook. Johnston looks over his right shoulder. Well, actually looks more towards uh, downwards. See how close the bumper is using his peripheral vision to a, a different aspect there. 
But you can see the pair of them all. Oh. Everyone was sideways through Inkermans. Johnson runs a little bit wide coming out of Ashby's. Patel looking towards the outside. He switches oh, to the under. Switch back. That's an undercut and a half. And well done, Vishal Patel. Slingshotted pass coming out of Ashby's into Wilkins. The 95 makes it stick. But Alex Johnson not done yet. He returns the favour through into the boot for the final time. But Lucas Ellingham dominates. And I think that pretty much wraps up the title for 2022 for Lucas Ellingham. Indeed it does. And Vishal Patel ended up losing out to Christian Brooks there around the boot. So Vishal Patel looking like he was on for a podium there, but ends up losing out to Christian Brooks in the dying moments. As you say, though, we'll, we'll have to wait for confirmation. Our math is not good enough to work it out. We'll, we'll wait for confirmation on results.alphatiming.co.uk slash WMKC as to whether Lucas Elliam has indeed wrapped up the X30 senior final. But it's one of those things, like Max Verstappen in the F1, I feel like it's only a matter of time. If he hasn't won it now, he's going to win it pretty soon uh, at the last round in November. Yep, so there he is. What a dominant performance, though. Dominant. This, this season, no one has come close. No. No one has come close to him, and he's just proved it again. Time and time, you put... I mean, Hayden Phillips has just said, give, uh, give him a Honda Cadet uh, engine. <laughs> he, uh, Ollie B96 said he'd probably still win it, though. Uh, Hayden Phillips says probably. But then would it meet... Te me meanwhile, would it meet technical inspection? <laughs> Possibly not.